what is up guys Mirza here and I'm back on Injustice iOS now while this game loads up really quickly I wanted to give my thoughts about the newest um, CW episodes that recently came out because I'm a huge fan of the Arrowverse so I'm not gonna give any spoilers here so don't be afraid of spoilers but the first episode for season 7 was a little boring to be honest it was it kind of dragged for a little too much there was barely any action I'm not complaining though. This isn't a hate video on The Flash, okay? I love The Flash TV show. I'm looking forward to the next episode, but just in regards to like a premiere for the first season in like a year since COVID. So like it's been a while. I was really, I was expecting like a lot more, but it was pretty good. I was just expecting a lot more, but nothing really happened. I mean, you know, a lot happened. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I don't know. I was just expecting some different kind of episode. For those of you who don't know, Hartley Sawyer, I hope I'm saying his name right, he was actually canceled on the internet like a while back, and that actually prompted the CW team to actually fire him off the show. So this isn't really spoiler, but he's not in season seven. He's not. Um, they're actually going to bring in a different actor to play Ralph Dibney for like one episode, and then he's going to leave the show completely it is such a shame to see like my most favorite character like right next to like cisco was literally hartley saw like so ralph dibney was like legit my favorite character like the actor was good he looked good too like that chin looked good for those of you who don't know why he got canceled just go to twitter there's so many toxic people on twitter just go to twitter you'll see why it was canceled and it's really up to your interpretation whether he should have been fired for some old tweets that were dated like years ago all right in my eyes, I don't think he should have been fired. I think they should have kept him. But alas, that's how cancel culture works nowadays. But other than that, I kind of got a little off topic. But welcome to Injustice. In this video, I'll be going over my rendition of my most powerful Blackest Night team. So let's jump into it. The Blackest Night team is actually a really fun team to rock because there's so many Blackest Night characters. Kind of like a Batman Ninja team, you know? There's so many Batman Ninja characters, so you can kind of make your own little Batman Ninja team. You know, Blackest Night is no different. There's so many Blackest Night characters, and it's just a lot of fun to do this. All right, but right here, I have my actual, like, team that I'll be using for the video. So check it out. This is my lineup here. We have Hawkgirl, Batman, and The Flash. So before we jump into matches, I want to explain why they're here and why this is the most powerful team in my eyes in regards to Blackest Night teams. So... Black is like the Flash is an absolute must-have. I think he is top one best Blackest Night teammate out there. Right next to Batman, right next to Superman, like right next to those two Black Knight teammates, he is the most powerful, all right? Um, one of the best things about him is that he is completely broken. For those of you who play MK Mobile, he mimics the passive of MK11 Jade, so that's pretty cool. Um, the best gear setups to rock with him is this right here. You can rock the 4th world uh, chest plate and the 4th world mace. Or you can rock, um, you know, like the, what is it called? The 4th world mace. You could rock that. I prefer the godly helmet for the stun chance on Tagen. So this is really up to interpretation. You could put the Necron scythe here. There's nothing wrong with that. I prefer the Astro harness here though. That's just me, alright? There's so many gear setups, but... I think it's like absolutely fundamental that you should rock at least two pieces of the fourth world set and then one piece like you're choosing, okay? The Astron is a good pick and the Necron Scythe is a good pick. However, you can go about this in many different ways. Black Flash can be completely unblockable gear. You can just put all unblockable gear on him and it'll still be good. This is just a very defensive setup with Black Flash. It'll make him really hard to kill really hard to kill the man's gonna have like three resurrects <laughs> with this team okay black Knight batman is probably he probably has the best black Knight passive out there um right next to superman and right next to black flash right next to hawk girl all of them all right but his passive i really do love because come on it's it's unblockable like come on now all right so he has um altogether a 30 percent chance of unblockable with a full set of black Knight teammates so what I like to do with him is I love putting the Cloak of Destiny on him and I love putting the Soul Ticker Sword and the Tantu Totem. You can go about this whatever which way you want. I just like this setup. It gives you like a 60% chance of unblockable. Um, the Cloak of Destiny for obvious reasons. Like come on now. His special 2 is so OP. The Cloak of Destiny is going to handle that. And then we have the Tantu Totem. Um, 
what you could do, you could swap the cloak for the Necron Scythe. Up to you. I prefer the cloak more because that stun chance on Tagen. That's just me though. I mean, it won't make much. It, it'll make like a minor difference, you know. Granted, the Necron Scythe is better because it gives you resurrect. It's really up to you, boys. Obviously, this setup works either way. And then with Black Knight Hawk Girl, um, pretty like basic setup. I didn't really think too much about this. We have the LexCorp uh, Gauntlets, the LexCorp Chest Armor, and the LexCorp. My bad, the Master's Death Cart. Uh, you know, she's pretty good. She has Power Drain Immunity. Um, she has the Master's Death Cart for tag and damage. Good stuff. And I put her in the front just in case the other team is rocking the Mother Box. Because you know me. I'm doing real sweaty and online this season, alright? Um, yeah, so the Mother Box, just in case the enemy team has it, will gain power from it because of the LexCorp set. So, other than that, this is my all-time favorite Black Knight team. The gear setups are up for interpretation, but at, if you have at least these three characters on your team, you can rock whatever hell setup you want for these three characters. This is just my preference for this video. I have a lot of setups for all these characters. I really like rock them any day I want. But for the sake of the video, I think this setup will be really cool to see on camera. Other than that, let's jump into our first match. I'm sorry for rambling on. I, I feel like I gotta explain myself every time I make a video, just in case, because a lot of people hate my opinion sometimes and i know having an opinion on the internet can get you canceled so i just want to be safe all right just let you know my reasoning but in today's match we have who is this prime doomsday, doomsday. uh okay and then prime raven black and then uh black adam he has the tangent total, so let's just be careful but his gear sets aren't even like <laughs> maxed out this won't be a problem at all for my black is night team let's jump into our first match of today's video let's get it let's get it all right. So, um, with this Blackest Knight team, I think it's really imperative that you guys rock my boy Black Flash. He is like a force to be reckoned with. Now, the thing about this Black Flash setup is the fact that he has, I believe, uh, I believe three resurrects. If I'm not mistaken, let me count it. So, the passive gives him one resurrect. Then Hawkgirl's passive gives him another resurrect, and I believe the Astro Harness should, you know, revive us with like. I think 15% health. So yeah, like 3 resurrects. It's pretty OP. Um, you could rock the Necron Scythe instead of the Astro Harness for some even thicker resurrect. But that's a little too sweaty in my opinion. I think 2 resurrects is a little too overkill. I think this setup with the Astro Harness is much better than the Necron Scythe. Solely because it's more defensive. Alright, and for those of you who, who have watched the latest premiere of The Flash. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Season 7 premiere. In my opinion, it was a little boring, but that doesn't mean I hate the show. It's just that it was just a little boring in my taste. It just kind of dragged on a little too long. Um, I knew exactly what was going to happen in the first episode, and, you know, it happened. So I was just kind of, like, low-key a little bored of the episode, but it's alright. You know, like, we have, like, another, like, what, 20 episodes? I don't even know their schedule for this year. Like, do you guys know how many episodes The Flash will have this season? I know Superman will have around 15 planned episodes for this season. I don't know if that's the case for the f for Season 7, though. I do not think so. Alright, in a third match, we have the Injustice 2 team, looks like. And then we have uh, Deadshot. You know, one of the weirdest things about the Injustice 2 team... I don't know if you guys know this, but the, de like, the developers were actually planning on making a... Injustice 2 Wonder Woman card. So they were actually planning on making Injustice 2 Wonder Woman back when these two cards came out. Um, I don't know why they never did it. I, I believe it's because um, the Injustice 2 game released on the iPhone. I, I guess you just kind of forgot about this game. But yeah, that was actually a planned release. A Injustice 2 Wonder Woman card. I, it it would have been cool because if they had done that, then we would have had a full-fledged Injustice 2 team Mind you, there's literally no synergies with Aquaman and Superman, so it wouldn't really be a you know, like an Injustice 2 team. No other sense to rock them together. There's no synergies there. Kind of like with the Dawn of Justice team, there's no synergies, but they're cool to rock all three because of the aesthetics. Alright, there you go. And the Cloak of Destiny doing its work. Alright, let's take out his passive. There you go. Oh, we got it back. Epic, epic, epic. Nice, okay, and then let's do our special two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Also, guys, 
the um the upload that i made like i think like a few days ago where i ranked all the metal characters i had a lot of comments i'm not gonna lie that video blew up like i do not know what happened i really wasn't planning on that much publicity on that video i thought it would have just been like a video that i got like maybe like one to three thousand views on that shit's i think at like six thousand like that that's wild bro like that video did so well i don't know why and i got like not a lot of hate i don't think it's hate i just think it's a lot of different opinions in the comment sections for that uh list that i made um if you guys want an update on my list it still stands there are some you know mistakes that i made in that ranking video um i feel like i should make a whole separate video for that like a like a ranking metal characters aftermath video where i basically explain you know and address all of the comments listing their list and what points i made wrong in that video because i did make a few points wrong but they don't really deviate that far from the list obviously my list has changed a little bit but not like like extremely changed like the list is still the same but i'm definitely planning on making like an aftermath video just addressing that video that just blew up our right, my boy superman is stunned let's him with a cloak jesus jesus oh my goodness <laughs> Oh man, okay. Let's uh, do our special two again because we're sweaty like that. One hit kill! My boy had a whole bar of health. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at battle six. We have super siege with... What is going on here? We have another set of the Injustice 2 team. Now this one actually makes a little more sense because we have new 52 which actually gives her um, synergies with both of these characters. So I guess that works. Okay, you know what? I kind of take back what I said about the Injustice 2 team. <laughs> New 52 Wonder Woman does kind of uh, wrap together the Injustice 2 team kind of well. Although she isn't a Injustice 2 card, she is a Justice League card. So I guess it kind of works. Oh, like, sort of. Kind of a unplanned synergy that I never re even like thought of about using her. Alright. Special 1. Alright, tag out, tag out, tag out. This will knock her out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One hit kill. Ooh, she resurrected, but it was still a one hit kill, bro. Alright, let's do that, and then let's activate the cloak. Bro, I am too good! One of the best things about Black Flash is the fact that his passive is probably right up there with, you know, Blackest Knight Superman. Um, the dot. I think the dot is probably the coolest part about this character. He can actually not just is immune to dot he can actually heal from dot so be very mindful because i know a lot of people rock like gaslight batman um you know arkham knight catwoman like those like you know bleeder teams all right you know just be careful all right i made that fatal mistake i had like a fully decked out gaslight batman with the ibis stick and the heart of darkness and the astro harness and i did one special one on black flash by mistake and that boy went from like 10 percent health to 100 percent health so don't be like me make sure you guys like understand his passive because i made that mistake way too many times to admit but in this team we have okay yeah this is gonna be easy peasy just gotta watch out for new 52 with his tantu totem that's the only thing that scares me other than that we're pretty much good to go <sighs> okay Alrighty then buddy you caught my attention all right special one all right tag this man in let him do a special never mind <sighs> Okay, okay. If this does dot, then it'll save us. Okay, never mind. The astronaut has just kind of eliminated the dot from a special one. That's epic. Okay. He's. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, I barely blocked that shit. Wow. Okay, okay. Tag in him. Special two, right off the bat. Okay. I'm not even worried. Like, Black Flash has, like, three resurrects on him like there is like my boy is set with health like he is on that containment doomsday type shit ah the seven matches online battle thank you guys so much for watching this was a lot of fun one of the best things about black flash bro is that he can be a dead ass a metal character <laughs> like his passive is that strong like i would not be surprised if he was originally released as a metal card he is that powerful um but other than that i will talk to you guys later uh Peace, peace, guys.
So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys check out my website where I sell this entire bundle with six Black Knight teammates at my website, Mirza.shop. Best part about this website is that it's completely 100% safe from ban, and we do both iOS and Android orders. You can pick up this pack with all six characters for 80 bucks. If you want to get like the Flashpoint bundle or like an individual character, we also have that on our website. So make sure you guys check out Mirza.shop and make sure to use code MirzaLuck at checkout. So for those of you wondering, this is how our individual cards look like. We have all of these listed right here on our website. But if you want to get like currencies like the Valorium currency, or if you want the Black Knight Flash bundle, which comes with the Necron Scythe, and some power credits or if you want some gear we have everything point is we have everything there is to offer with no possibility of ban so don't be afraid to just put in an order your account will be 100 safe from ban and we do both ios and android so there's love everywhere all right so go to mirza.shop and check out my website today